College of Nursing. This morning before you is a team of experts from the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, led by Dr. Na Mbeka Wakama, the Deputy Registrar of the Council. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, the team is in Federal University of Lafia on an advisory visit to the College of Nursing. May I request that before we continue further discussions, that we use a few seconds and pray silently upon our individual faiths for the success of this meeting. All of us to this uh, very important uh, exercise that brought you people to Federal University of Lafia and uh, to start by appreciating because I uh, know we started uh, this struggle of uh, inviting you to this university to come and uh, assess and advise us since 2019 and uh, we did not uh, get this particular opportunity. So it's a very great opportunity for us seeing you today coming to Federal University of Latvia uh, to see our College of Medicine, uh, to perform the, the assessment and then advise us. And uh, I want to also say that we all believe in quality, particularly when it comes to training of uh, students in medical schools, because we know what it takes when you are training people in medical school. Uh, it's about you know, safety of life. And uh, that is why this, uh, your council, honestly, I can say that uh, we're happy with the way you people are operating, with the way you are so strict about uh, your assessment, because uh, we need it, whether we like it or not. Uh, if really we want to save lives of human beings, we must make sure that we get quality products out of uh, qualities of uh, medicine uh, all over our Nigerian medicine system. Uh, Federal University of Latvia may not be an exception, exception in this case. And uh, for all here, we believe in quality. We believe in excellence, and we are ever ready to learn, particularly from experience of members of this team. Uh, we are not just looking at this assessment or this particular exercise. Uh, our coming together here now, at least, has given us opportunity to establish relationship with every one of you here. Come from the profile I've just got in around when uh, the representative of the register was uh, introducing me. I've seen that uh, uh, this university is lucky to have uh, you people uh, visiting us uh, this university today. And this is uh, an opportunity for us to establish and manage a good relationship with you. At least. Uh, so that we can be learning from you people are improving in our quality of our quality of medicine. 
because we are just starting and uh, we need you people. So, and that is why I want you to be free uh, with us. We are ever ready to be friendly, to cooperate, and to yield to whatever advice uh, you people are giving. And normally, we know when we start any unit or academic unit in a university like this, uh, there must be area of observation because we cannot just start perfectly. Uh, there may be certain things that maybe we didn't know about before we start, and there may be certain things maybe that maybe because of one period or the other. Uh, that may not to start certain things, but with uh, caution from you people, we can take correction at any time. And that is why I'm saying that I want to use this opportunity to request that uh, you people should be free to guide us. And uh, as you are guiding us, I know that you are not just doing for this federal investor of life here alone. We are doing it for the nation. Because when we say this university is a federal university, uh, anybody from any part of this country will come here to reach. And uh, if we assist the university, it's like we are assisting the entire Nigeria. So, and uh, as I have said earlier, that anything about mixing needs to be, you know, uh, be with excellence. If, the, if there's anything beyond 99%, we should go beyond that. We know we cannot get 100%, but at least it is our readiness to say that uh, we want to learn from you people. We are ready to cooperate. I know we have even started our program, uh, and I know this new people know how to advise us in making certain adjustments. Uh, as I said earlier, the university is just coming up. We are just growing. And I believe uh, when whatever you ask us to do now, I know in some few months or another year to come, uh, if you come back, you are going to see a very serious uh, uh, improvement. So I want to on behalf of my people in the College of Medicine, to also thank you for the cooperation, for the love you have for this university. Because the provost told me that actually uh, we are many, you know, struggling to have you people to come and look at our system. Uh, but we are lucky to have you today. I immediately he mentioned to me how uh, to call uh, our staff together and say, Look, this is a very important exercise. I know because of ASU strike, certain things may not be uh, put in place for your calling, but uh, uh, for the past three, four days, we have been trying to see that uh, nothing stop this exercise. And we are happy today that you are here. And uh, I wish you happy stay. You know, as to carry out this uh, uh, assignment. And as I say, please help us out of whatever constraint. If there are some certain facility that maybe we don't have, and uh, you have advice to give us on how we can get it uh, easy uh, to facilitate improving quality of the system. We are ready to do that. And that's why I said your coming is a good thing for us uh, and it's an opportunity for us to establish a relationship with you. There are many people that didn't look at they say, the relationship as a source. But with us here, we look at it as a source. Relationship is an asset. Because there are certain things that uh, money cannot give us, but relationship is and that's why I should say that we are happy having the kind of people that are here to come and advise us. And after this work, I think we are going to also be approaching 
each one of you individually on certain things that you feel you can do uh, better for us. I want to use the opportunity to also welcome all of you once more. And uh, when you are doing that, and that to the register, and uh, we are appreciating appreciate uh, the love he has for us because uh, it's, it's a very uh, great opportunity I think for you to follow this particular thing. Uh, in other cases, they are oh, they are strike, nobody knows what's the situation on campus and so but we didn't look at that. We said to look at what and that is why I say my people should make sure that everything is set. We don't want anything that is going to affect your comfort and to carry out your uh, assignments. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice Chancellor. Uh, but before I invite the team leader for his remarks, please let me uh, introduce to you some of the staff of the College of Medicine right here. We have uh, Professor Ali Shugaba. Professor of Human Anatomy and Director of Research and Creative Thought of the University. We have uh, the Dean Faculty of uh, Basic Medical Sciences, Dr. Ahmed Mohamed Rabiu. We have also Dr. Abubakar Mohamed, Head of the Department of Medical Chemistry. And uh, we have Dr. Lawal Ahmed Abdul Mumun, Head of the Department of Anatomy. On this note, Mr. Vice Chancellor, I would like to invite the team leader for the Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, Principal Officers of the University, uh, the Provost and the leadership of the College of Medicine, uh, the management staff of the University Board here, and of course the very distinguished members of the FBC and delegation. Uh, I'd like to Formally express our hearty felicitations with the Vice Chancellor. First, for the work we've received since we arrived last year yesterday, uh, the camaraderie that existed. In fact, last night, we were ambushed by some of your staff who weren't expecting that they would come this stage at our hotel to welcome us. And um, that was very thoughtful and kind of them. We quite appreciated that effort. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I'd like to commend you because um, I'm not sure this I, I, I'm not sure the dates this university started, but if within the short period of existence of the university, you've already got into this daily move of setting up the medical school, that shows the level of <laughs> because for you to think of setting up a medical school means that most other courses are already running here effectively. And Coming in here, it doesn't even look like a new school anymore. You seem to have gotten your arts and your structures together. And I think it's, a, it's quite commendable and it's something that we applaud. Um, yes, you are right when you said that um, you've been expecting this dedication for a while. Uh, in fact, assembling these gentlemen here wasn't an easy one. I mean, they are coming from different parts of the country. Not many people who feel comfortable. Um, having to fly into Abuja and coming by road to Lafayette. Uh, we know that very soon this state will get an airport. It might just be easier then for people to fly in directly. Um, because of the security of the, the security situation of the nation, which is everywhere, in all the taxi states, there are security concerns. People are very cautious when it comes to road movement. But this one have um, actually, because of their commitment and passion for medical education in Nigeria, you know, and they, 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 they dared it and said, fine, they're going to move with us. And I, on your behalf, I really want to thank them for our business. Yeah. Um, definitely, there have been competing demands. Uh, there are many institutions that are requesting for similar visits and that uh, are pending. Some that have been there before you. Uh, it's by the grace of God that it just turned out that it is yours today. And we are glad to be here with you. And you were actually requesting that we advise you. The truth is that the only reason we came here to the university is to advise you, and that is what we're going to do. <laughs> Mr. Vice Chancellor, the medical program is a very capital intensive one. 
and it's important that you have your principal officers here and other senior members because you find out that for a university that is still young, you will probably end up committing half of your resources to one program. Mm -hmm. It's something that some people don't understand. Indeed, there have been people who started off and they weren't sure whether they should be regretting embarking on that project or not. At the end of the day, when it works out well, it turns out to be the flagship of most medical, of most universities. Something that they take pride in because if you can get a medical program running, you can get anything else running. Um, but it might not be very clear to everybody to understand the maybe not humongous amount, but a substantial amount of resources that are to be committed for you to have a good medical school running beyond the infrastructure which of course is uh, germane, but more importantly is the human resource. You will need getting the appropriate staff, the right caliber of staff to run a medical program. It's not something that comes cheap. Um, and uh, I know that very soon, federal government will be doing more for lecturers, and it will even increase the wage bill of the vice chancellor by the time you hire all those <laughs> teachers that will be coming here. But it's good that you prepare your mind to knowing that those are some of the things that will happen here. Uh, for us at the Medical Council, we are glad to partner with you. We are glad to see you. We are very much willing to assist in any way we can towards the development of this project. Uh, the doctors will be training here, no matter where they come from, will not be serving only you when they qualify. They could serve in any, not just in Nigeria, they could serve in any part of the world. Most of the countries you go to, when you visit them, and those of you that visit the visas and all your that go on medical checks abroad, you find out that it's a medical doctor's training in our very local universities, some of them from very rural universities, because even by Nigerian standards, you have the battery, you have Lagos, you have the B, you have the soap, and then you have some other ones. And those other ones are making giant strikes in the best hospitals in the world. It is because there is some element of standardization. Where Professor Salao is coming from, um, at some point, I used to brag that they had the best preclinical school in Nigeria. But I can't say that again because the competition is so much. <laughs> what I have noticed is that newer schools are challenging older schools. They are coming up strong. They are coming up to displace, you know, if there's anything. Maybe we might consider doing the same ranking that is done for universities, for medical schools. People will be amazed and the quantum of resources available in this country. So we also hope that Latvia will join that league and compete favorably and not be intimidated by it. You have some big medical schools around, but you can actually break into them and even you know, uh, surpass them because you're in between major medical schools. And uh, I think you could do better than them because you'll be learning from your mistakes and improving. Um, Yes, you, you, you require to assemble the right caliber kind of staff. Um, medical Council emphasizes the use of medically qualified teachers, but we also understand the fact that it might not be completely easy for you to get medically qualified teachers in every department. Now, the essence of the idea of medically qualified teachers was um, to, to make the students appreciate the essence of their learning. Because they are not trained just to be scientists, but to apply the science to uh, patient care. So the idea was that from the outset, people who have that orientation, um, there is this integrated system curriculum that is um, developed now worldwide, which encourages students, even at the preclinical level, to start understanding the basis of um, illnesses and applying the science they are learning towards the treatment of patients. And so that is why council came up with that um, policy. However, even if you start, even if you have people who are not uh, medically qualified, we expect you to have a good mix in every department, right from the basic, basic medical sciences, all through that you have a proper mix. Uh, you have medically qualified people, and then maybe a few of the other ones where you are, because you might not be able to get all of them at this stage. It might not be that easy. But if you can get, like some universities in Nigeria have done, better for you. It will actually enhance your chances of um, getting um, probably more positive outcomes, not just in your training, but in your relationship with chancellor too. 
Uh, let me quickly add that I, I had, uh, you've already created some faculties. You have the faculty of basic medical science. At least on paper, we expect you to have three faculties for the medical program. Um, that's in basic medical sciences, basic clinical sciences, and of course, the clinical sciences. We also would require that you have, because we know that there are some of our um, sister professionals who need to grow in their career. So we, we, we usually recommend institutions to have a faculty of allied health sciences, so that those other people who are not doctors who are working in the college can also have opportunity to grow for the sister professions. Let them become deans and become vice chancellors, if possible. So we recommend that you look at that if you haven't done it already. Um, by the time we go around, we'll be able to see what you have. Um, the other area that usually causes problems for medical schools is when people admit more than the quota. Luckily, within the last one year, Jack has intervened, so it's pretty difficult for that to happen these days. But where you have instances where people either to the sites, bringing people, we don't permit you having one more than one quota allotted to you because we look at a lot of parameters in determining what we think is appropriate quota. Vice chancellors are usually under pressure, especially from political authorities when it comes to admission into medical schools. So it's important to uh, you look out for that in the present. Um, this is very time for much talk. Luckily, we'll have another time to uh, sit with the vice chancellor and debrief him and let him know they are coming with this. So the people here are eager to get to work, and we can't wait to see what you have. Thank you very much. Sir.